Opening up questions for Devin Devine. Noah Dan, Exemplar Sports. You're now signed to RWA. It may not be the way you thought it would be, with Chris Taylor making sure you signed. What's next for Devin? <laughs> That's an excellent question. Uh, you're right, it didn't go as planned, but it still went in my favor. What's next? I'm going to do what I've always done, which is inspire people uh, and just really encourage people to change their lives for the better just by watching me excel at what I do, which is really anything and everything that I've ever done. Um, I'm not one that even knows what failure is, so it's going to be no different. I've seen the level of competition here in RWA. Uh, it's laughable. Uh, so I think you're really going to see some things out of me pretty soon, and Chris Taylor doesn't realize the mistake that he's made. Uh, Tony Kincaid here. Excuse me for the lip. Um, I hate Chris Taylor just as much as you do. Yes. And as usual, Chris uh, thinks he can do whatever he wants and uh, gets away with it. Made you sign the contract despite not being conscious. Uh, but now you have an open contract against Chris. Is that an advantage for you? First, let me just say how much I admire your bravery, Tony. Thank you. Uh, to be able to go through what you went through tonight, uh, which also was a cheap shot, mm -hmm. uh, to me, that inspires me. So I just want that on the record. As for what Chris Taylor did tonight, yeah, he got my signature on that contract. But then there was that second contract he signed for a match with me. When I look at that, I look at the possibility. Chris Taylor versus Devin Devine. But that doesn't mean that it can't be Devin Devine and a partner in a handicap match. That doesn't mean it can't be Chris Taylor and Devin Devine in a cage match, in a dog collar match, in a career versus career match. Chris Taylor, boy, you are an idiot. I thought so before, now I know so. You are so dumb, you are... Westmoreland County trash through and through. Any other questions? Michael Doc Doherty here for RWA Commentary, also of Russell Sense Podcast. I was wondering, what makes you think, Devin, that you still have it? You know, we know you have a lot of talk, but can you still go? And also, can you defeat a true hero in RWA and one Chris Taylor? You know, Doc. You and I have known each other for a long time. And I always knew you to be somebody of low morals and low quality of mental capacity. So it doesn't surprise me that you would ask a dumb question. <laughs> I have to say this. When I contacted Chris Taylor about coming to RWA, I had plans. Chris and I were going to be together and we were going to take over this promotion. Chris totally disrespected me and acted like he was doing me a favor, giving me a history lesson on RWA, his past feuds, who he's been teamed up with, who he's gone against. I don't care about any of that. If I cared about this promotion, I would have been here a long time ago. But now, Chris pissed me off. So you're going to find out if I can still go. What I found is Chris Taylor, the one thing that matters most to him, is this stupid promotion and these idiots that sit out here and cheer for him. So it is now my goal to take that away from Chris Taylor. And if you have a question about whether or not I can go, all you have to do is sign your name under Chris's name. And you could be in there as well. I am done being a nice guy. And I am done playing by the rules. You want to see how bad it can get? Then just sit back and watch. Pretty soon, I'll be your hero as well. I'm not going to answer any more questions because I feel uh, Doc is just going to ruin this with his stupidity, Agreed. just like he does the commentary. Mm -hmm. I listen to it. It's garbage. Uh, so before I lose my cool and let down all the young children that look up to Devin Devine, I just want to say thank you have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow. Closing questions for Devin Devine? No, there's none. Shut up. You're an idiot. <laughs>